Do people chirotherapy so their vaginas? Uh. You're such a bitch. No, but think how young you're. Does everyone right? do this? Yes. I'm here at the only place I want to be, Dr. Hey, Orion's office at hey, Epion hey, Center. He's the rest of the best. I'm not even gonna say who he works on, but just know he does everybody that looks good. And I just got back from vacation. My mustache is back. Yes, Can you see I'm it? I'm going through puberty. Yes. I'm going through puberty. Okay, so Dr. Orion, what am I gonna do? It's really mm. bad. I did not wear sunblock. That is very, very good. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, if you, I always take it away and then we go in the sun, of course, and of course it does come back, but we can take it, make it go away. We're gonna use cool laser to make it go away now and make your skin brand new. I just get excited about the vitamin D because I'm pale all year long. I think I should do spray tans. Are you into spray tans? Yes, absolutely. You think they're better? Uh, yeah, there's no, no side effects with spray tans and yeah. also it's healthier for you. And you're no, not are you aging, staring so at my appealing? So there's this I know, feeling, like, it's so weird. I haven't seen this since I was like five. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so high school yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah, I need to so, stop sun worshiping. Yes, but at least cover your face. Cover your face and chest. These are areas that people age from. I know. Rapidly, Mike so. was yelling at me. He's like, you know, Dr. Orion would kill you right now. I yeah, just so got like so a, rebellious. The only reason I'm not killing you is because we're on camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he yes. doesn't age. Yeah, he I feel yeah. like you make me look better, too. Okay, Dr. Orion, I have questions for you because I don't know what any of these things are. And yes, everyone exactly. asks. What is fractional laser? So fractional laser is a type of laser that goes uh, onto different distances of your face and doesn't exactly burn the whole skin. So this is one of the first treatments that we started using for removing discoloration, but okay. um, still could burn too much of the skin and the recovery could be a little bit longer. Okay, what's cryotherapy? So cryotherapy is using a cold environment to remove the top layer of the skin. I don't think it works really well for melasma, but it's a good treatment for regular facials, not for this stuff. So what is, but cryotherapy is just like for you to get rid of your face and grow back new cells? No, it actually cools up your skin, so it actually tightens your skin very nicely, uh -huh. but for a short period of time. Do people cryotherapy so their vaginas? Uh, we do the laser and the ultrasound for vagina. You do? Yeah. What does that do? It tightens the ah! What about IPL? What is IPL? So IPL is intense pulse light that goes after more of a broad spectrum of light that goes after different colors, so red and brown. So it's kind of like it does everything, but not really well. PRP, what's that? A PRP is like using uh, your own blood. We draw your own blood and then uh, we spin it yeah. and take the, well, outside of your body. We okay. spin it and we take the uh, protein-rich plasma, which is uh, the yellow part of the blood. We take that out and either we inject it to your skin or we rub it on your skin. Rubbing it on the skin doesn't do that much because it doesn't penetrate deep, mm. uh, but if you really want it to work, you inject it into the skin and it gives you a very nice plumped skin kind of as though you've had growth factor on your skin. So that's probably good for people who are starting to feel the aging process. Like yes, you get a little bit sagging. Women in the like 30s. Yes, and right. you start to have a little sagging skin and your skin doesn't have that suppleness to it. Right. And if you don't want to do fillers, that's a nice option because you use your own blood to kind Got of it. do a little bit of plumpness to your skin. Okay, and then microdermabrasion, what's that? Microdermabrasion is removing the top layer of the skin in a physical way. It's kind of like a, taking a loofah and really removing the top layer of your skin. Oh my God. In a, in a doctor's office or in a patient's office. Is that a office. laser that you no, do? No, it's a machine. Basically, it kind of has a suction tube attached to it. That is not the right treatment for you because okay. we're trying to do anything that doesn't cause a lot of inflammation. Inflammation is the root of the melasma. So we want to kind of calm down your skin so you don't get melasma anymore. Also, a little side note is when I turned 28, I started doing Botox before I even needed it. I want to know what you think about this because I was just like, I think if I nip it in the bud now and go once a year and get Botox just right here, and I started at 28, and I have to say, no shade to my friends out there, but I look younger than some of my friends that are my same age. Yes. Because oh. I did it like early on so if uh, there's a there's a fine line between doing something preventively and doing something that actually you, you need to do so if you're frowning a lot it's a good idea to do Botox before the frown becomes a big line mm -hmm. but I don't do Botox for people just because they think they may get wrinkles in the right picture. you have to have the you have to have the, it, it, it has to be something that you normally do and then what about laugh lines I'm asking for a friend <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> what do you suggest for laugh lines <laughs> so <laughs> the laugh lines we do fillers for them um, okay and Again, you don't want to do too soon and you don't want to do too um, too much. Um, if you 
try to fill up the whole lap line, then you're gonna look like you, you're cheeky and you look artificial. And then I just pull a little bit of this part up by adding mm. volume to the cheeks to make the cheeks look more like this. Okay, when I ask you, do guys get melasma? Rarely. Uh, mm. the, so melasma by definition is a combination of estrogen, too much estrogen in your system and discoloration that comes with it on your skin. So, so it's mostly women's hormones that... Yeah. So guys don't have estrogen in their system. They're not photosensitive uh, by going in the sun. So oh. one more thing to add. One more thing. To, but, but the good news is that now we can control this inflammation by suppressing it so that you don't get so much of a melasma happening all the time. You so have a product that I'm obsessed with called Berman Fave yes. that I've been using. It has hydrocortisone. Yes, hydrocortisone, 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 retin-A, kojic acid, and a few other things. Now, if somebody wants to get it though, they need to come and see you guys and get it. It's by prescription. Right. We have an over the counter version of it, which is called the restoration. Oh, so cool. you can get that over the counter. You see a lot of like pregnant women and women that are on birth control come in and complain about melasma. Yes. This is it. Yeah. So, is it a hereditary thing? Well, a few things have to happen at the same time. You have to be either have a high levels of estrogen, so either okay. because of pregnancy or because you're on birth, birth control pill. You also have to be in the sun or heat. So heat and sun are so exacerbated. And also you have to have olive skin. So people who oh. have lighter skin don't have so much production of melasma in the body. So, so you have to stay Lucky with girls. Yes. Blondes have more fun. Yes. <laughs> Melasma was on my nose and my lips. I can see it on the eyes too. Oh, that's scary. I don't want to see myself that big. Here we're done. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you feel like you're like a dog with your face out of the car window. Because <laughs> yeah, you're just air blowing. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the face. It actually does not hurt that bad. Reduces the production of new collagen in your skin yeah. and causes your skin not to have the inflammatory response so that when you have brand new skin coming out, it's going to be a, a nice, fresh, pigmentation free, extra pigmentation free. So it's going to be the same color everywhere. Oh my god, I can't wait to see it after. Yes, yes, yes. My yearly collager. Do you do this to yourself? I have, yes. Once oh a year, once a year. Or so. Really? So now I need to stay out of the sun for how long? At least five years. No! <laughs> no more course. boat trips. No, maybe like uh, probably at least a month. A month? Yes. Try to avoid the sun completely. Sun and heat, both of them. Okay, so no saunas. How long should I wait to work out? I'd rather wait 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. My pleasure. Cool laser! Yes. We did it. Awesome. Oh my god, I love you. Totally normal, just driving around. Nothing to see here, guys. Totally fine. So excited. I am at Shawnee Darden's, who's like facialist to the stars, and I'm finally gonna go and see her and see what she can do to help this face of mine. Oh god, I'm scared. Hi. We're here with Shawnee Darden, who is the facialist to the stars. Any girl who you have looked at on Instagram, she does Rosie Huntington, Jessica Alba, Jenna Dewan. And the list goes on and on and on. She's the best. And Chani, she's somebody that you want to sit next to at a party. Because like she likes to sit in the corner like I do and complain about being there and wanting to go home. Mm -hmm. Shawnee works her ass off. She literally, how many clients do you see there? Five. Well, I feel like I see eight, but I do five facials. And on top of that, she also has been working her ass off creating a product line that launched a month ago, I want to say, two months mm -hmm. ago. And wow, what's this? Okay, I know. so 
know, see? That's, That's why you should garden. get facials. Who, what, when, where, why, and how? Um, you should get a facial once a month if you can. Why, why is it important? Because we want to stay young and you want to do a professional, a professional exfoliate on your skin like mm -hmm. a peel. Now you guys may have seen, so many of my friends have this like pink light thing that they use that Shawnee's got everyone hooked on with it. That's the, the, the LED mask. It's yeah. the greatest thing in the whole world. It's a really worth Yes, Shawnee. yes. Red light boosts collagen in the skin and it decreases fine lines and wrinkles. Keeps you young forever. The blue light kills bacteria for acne. So like, you need it. Okay, let's talk about the peel though right now. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do it. So, you know that that's gonna what happen. What the f is it? We're gonna do a lactic acid peel. So basically, this one is the, for the most sensitive skin in the world. Okay. Yeah, I believe you're not gonna let me extract like anything no. on your nose, like five of them. No. Why would you want the five blackheads? Because I don't have time. Okay, let me. <laughs> You have five blackheads on your nose. Like, why would you want them? Why do you want that? Why? But okay. like, they're gonna come back, right? Is yeah, it because you're gonna put makeup on. But that maybe that's why you come and get a facial once a month. And you're I, such a. I know, but think how young you're. Does everyone getting. do this? Yes, and they love it. They would be so mad if they didn't have that feeling. Oh, that really burns. Yeah. It feels like you put hot Cheetos on my face. No. I just oh, literally oh. wanted you to put glaze on my face like a donut, and that's it. No. This is good for you. My eyes can't open without getting stuff in them. For sure. So you're fine. Open. Oh, I'm scared. No. Shawnee, for people like me that don't want one more thing to do, tell me again my facials are so important. So you don't want to come in and get a facial, you need to do a facial at home, which you can. So you can do a nice at home peel. After you peel, it'll be easier for anything else to penetrate into the skin, so then you can do a mask and hyaluronic acid and a great moisturizer, and then you've done a little at-home facial. Okay, thank you at home. I got your product sent to me, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. But I was waiting to see you because I needed, like, what do I do? What's the step? Like, two ways of paper is seamless. So the cleanser is a really... Which one is that, this? Yeah. So that's a really gentle cleanser for all skin types, morning and night. And this is for every skin type? Yeah, the cleanser for you all. You wanna know something? I started washing my face in the morning because of you. I never used to. Like, how gross is that? I, just, I never used to wash my face in the morning. I know what's this I, don't. I know, and then what's this guy? That's the toner that's my favorite. It helps to brighten. It's great for normal to oily skin. I don't even know what toner is. Well, not everybody needs a toner. This is an essence, so this is actually more like a treatment. So it helps to reduce oil production. Okay, so then toners after Right, the and then after that, that's a texture reform. It's a retinol palmitate, so it's a gentle form of retinol. Got it, so this isn't as gnarly as what I've been using. No, 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 you're using prescription. I'm not side effects when you do that. No, I love, I love retinol. I love, I'm like, you're gonna be young forever. Oh. Retinol is really important because it is the best anti-aging ingredient other than a sunscreen. It boosts collagen in the skin, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, helps with pigmentation. So I feel like if you can use a retinol, everyone should use retinol. So the oil-free moisturizer would be good for you. And if you're feeling like you need more moisture, you would use a uh, hydrating serum before that. So that's really a great moisturizer for someone that gets congested. congested. Okay. You know, who gets blackheads on their nose. Like, Shut up about the blackheads. You can get them if you want, I but really it's just want like, I don't want it to hurt. Oh, what's that? I it's know. freezing cold. It's so good. You love it? You're really like testing my senses today. <laughs> what the f*** is this? This is an today? ultrasound. We're just Wait, I'm so tightening. happy we're talking about this because guess what? Well, first of all, tell me what is this ultrasound is. So this is going to tone and tighten. Um, this is also going to calm your skin. And it feels so good, right? It feels so, it feels really weird. You love it though. It feels like you put a cold sun on my mm -hmm. Look at how good your skin that looks though. I'm really proud of you. To be honest, you I, know, am. I stopped drinking. Oh, that's right. And I'm like, I'm at the age where like, if I want to prevent looking like a mess in my 40s, I need to get my shit together. And also, I was drinking alcohol because I was A, either bored, or I had social anxiety, right? Or I was just stressed and trying to deal with stress, and I'm like, this, I can't keep up with this. It's not like sustainable. Okay. So is I this forever? Cold turkey. Does Mike? Does I that have mean to Mike? say, I'm getting a lot of compliments from even my haters on DMs. Shani, do you feel like drinking really makes it big? What the f is this? <laughs> I think that drinking. Oh my you God, shouldn't where, drink. What am I doing? 
it's definitely it's helping the mask penetrate deeper into your skin mm -hmm. and you just like live in there you know like i need it for like the full body Ow, sorry it's so just, it was very tense there one thing get a harm for cutting hair i'm sorry no. it just was really bad there oh i was just God. trying to help you so it, it feels nice right it's just eating everything away i'm probably going in like the tesla spacex to mars good. i had such crazy oily skin growing up and always hated it because i was like my face was like an ice skating ring but I appreciate it so much now that I've gotten older. Yeah. So all you oily, greasy girls out there, don't fret. You're gonna need it later. Where am I? It's like a bit of disco. <laughs> oh my god, is it okay if my eyelids are facing this? Not if you're filming it. We'll put the... Oh. Well, I don't actually care. Okay. Like, you do not need to cover your eyes now. Okay. But I mean, you should but technically not, like, you should. look into the light. Okay, well I did. Twice, so it's fine. You're so fine. You talked You're about fine. that before. Mm -hmm. yeah, but why would you ever want that then? Like, truly. There's five? No, there's way more I lied, but I'm not gonna do them all. People won't let me, but I just wanna be. Oh my god. <laughs> I just don't want some of these. Now, my question to you oh, is. That's like the worst you, pain I've ever felt in my life. You stopped drinking. Oh, so why? Do I have to do this? And, but you don't care about black hair. Do people just like let you do this they and they like it. it? They just sit here, they oh. don't even, they don't do that. Oh, I think you're gonna be happier, you know what I mean? I don't see these things. I, put, I don't believe that you I don't. I cover a foundation. I don't look in the mirror that has, I think those should be honestly out there. I, I, I like totally girls should never, never be able to see them. themselves in a magnified mirror. Right? It makes you so sad. And no one sees you like that. Ow! All right, Shani. Oh you're, my God, that's you're really good. You're right. My skin does look better. So you're and gonna, really come yeah, you're gonna, gonna come back. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. I'm so mad. Back. My blackheads are gone. I'm gonna put a link in the description. description box. I'm gonna put a link in the description box where you can get Shani Darden's products. They're the best. I'm so proud of you, Shani. Thank you. I love you. The skin. Enough about you, but what about the skin? It's really good. Really, you this need is to come life back. changing. I know. All right, I'm coming back. Good.